none of them have any sense of a world beneath the ocean. I use technology in the classroom so that I can reach beyond the walls. Uh, you know, we look for those moments where the kids have their eyes wide open and you get those big smiles on their face when something finally clicks. It's really been a unique opportunity for my students to experience uh, something other than Serbia. Today we are going to have a chat with Fabian Cousteau, who is at the bottom of the sea in the one and only uh, underwater lab uh, called Aquarius. He is going to be uh, on Skype with us live, so you'll get a chance to talk to him. I see you! <laughs> Fantastic! Welcome to the bottom of the sea in the world's only undersea marine laboratory, Aquarius. We're 63 feet down from the surface. Uh, we're uh, nine miles offshore of the Florida Keys in the Atlantic. Aquarius is unique because it's the world's only undersea marine laboratory left in the world. We're basically basing Mission 31 off of something my grandfather did 50 years ago for the first time on a Cousteau expedition. Uh, we have live cameras inside and outside the habitat. We are uh, tuned into your camera. Hi. Hello. <laughs> There's a stingray. That's really neat. And there are some groupers. Look at that tarpon. So there you go, you get a little taste of uh, what it's like to live and work underwater. The kids were just amazed at how easy it was and you know they saw that format as well as being able to connect easily and communicate with someone whether they were 6,000 miles away or 200 miles away. Hi, I'm Chase and is it easy to fall asleep underwater? <laughs> I can show you, if you like, what it looks like to sleep in the sea. So here we go. And you can see right here is our sleeping quarters. And at night, we have the best television in the world. I think the most memorable moment of calling Mission 31 today was seeing my students' faces when they looked out the window. Could you describe the way you come and go out of the lab without the water rushing in? Because the air pressure inside the habitat is the same as the water pressure outside the habitat, water does not come rushing into this habitat. You can make them feel like they're connected to a world that as children they might not feel connected to in the first place. Have you found anything that can make medicine or could cure a disease? There's so much left to be discovered out there with regard to cures for different ailments. We've only explored less than 5% of our ocean. So there's a lot left out there. And, um, and I really, uh, I, I do believe that this is our natural resource bank account. And uh, we need to look into it as far as those kinds of treatments and cures. Thank you it for is. this opportunity to visit your uh, uh, lab. It was amazing because uh, I spoke with someone who is under the sea. Mine was when they had a view from the scuba divers, so you get to see what they see. Yeah, well, it would be pretty cool if we did that kind of learning every day because it's a different take to subjects. Bye! Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>